This is Scavengers, a PvEVP strategic survival shooter where you'll fight a wide range of enemy factions and players, grow in power, and survive killer winters, all to safeguard the future of the human race. It starts on this vast frozen battleground, Earth, or what's left of it. An asteroid has shattered the moon, bringing uncontrollable Arctic storms and an unknown alien virus. You're one of the last surviving humans who has escaped to Sanctuary, overseen by your AI protector, Mother. I've been preparing this for years. Mother watches over all that's left of the human race and is trying to find a cure for the virus so you can return home. Your mission today shall not be easy, but I will do my best to guide you. As an explorer, you'll be sent back to Earth to collect data on the virus, as well as finding salvage for research recipes and upgrades for your loadout. Mother thinks competition drives better results, so you'll be gunning for the same data and resources against up to 20 other squads. All's fair in love and exploring, mate. Though it might look like a battle royale, Scavengers breaks the formula by combining PvE, PvP, and survival mechanics. There, let's move. The fastest way to get a lead is to raid the many AI-controlled outposts for their data points, experience, weaponry, and supplies. Extracting with the most data points is the ultimate goal of each match, and how Mother crowns a winner. Experience nets you levels, which are prerequisites to crafting upgrades with the scrap you find and based on the loadouts you've selected. Weaponry and supplies are how you get through all of this. We're ready to roll! There are hundreds of AI enemies to be fought, and each species fights differently, ranging from ravenous, swarming scourge, to savvy, well-armed outlanders, to rabid wildlife, and bears. Now, while these encounters are tough, they're also predictable and mostly in fixed locations, unlike the other explorer teams you'll be competing and fighting against. Taking out other teams is a great way to stay in the lead, but it's also the riskiest, as you can run out of consumables and ammunition when you don't have access to the supply caches of the AI camps. And as long as someone on the team stays alive, it's possible for all allies to reclone themselves to continue the fight. This means you'll need to be proactive and decisive in the fights you take. Get stuck and you won't be ready for what's next, because here's the third element, survival. Earth has become brutally cold, made even more deadly by the fast-moving snowstorms. Stay warm, and keep your stamina up by lighting fires and eating food, which means staying on the move, on the hunt, and ahead of the storms. Advanced players can use these storms to mask their approach or force enemies into disadvantaged fights. Over time, the cold will close in and Mother will send an evacuation ship for the remaining explorers to return. Be on it. Once the ship leaves, a ceasefire is declared and all teams on board will return safely to Sanctuary. Multiple teams can extract, but the one with the most data points will be rewarded with more research experience and points from Mother. Sneak on the ship at the last second, or get in early and try to hold the entrances with your teammates. Just get off the planet before the clock runs out. Scavengers is about playing strategically, taking risks, and surviving to play again. In Scavengers, there are many paths to success. Now that we've covered how you play and win, let's get into the details. Oh, I got the moves. It's important to bring the right squad and loadout for the right strategy. Take Cruz, whose tailwind ability can accelerate teammates that run in his wake. <laughs> Time to light the fire. Perfect for squads who want to close the gap on others, move quickly from outpost to outpost, or for sprinting into the evac ship against well-fortified opponents. Alternatively, take the ship early and use Tarek's stun trap or Valora's Aegis Shield Dome for a big advantage when holding off other teams. These are just some examples of the explorers available, as well as the strategies you can employ. I will end you and everyone you love. Weaponry also matters, and Scavengers has one for every occasion. A thorn bow for when you need silence and accuracy. The powerful, long-range predator, or when subtlety isn't an option, the chain shark. In addition to the dozens of weapon types you can find on the map, each explorer has a unique weapon that they alone can craft per match. In addition to the one wild card weapon that can be added to any loadout. We plan to add many, many more options as Scavengers evolves. 
Each match takes place in Cascade Springs, a resort turned frozen wasteland that's been overrun by Scourge, Outlanders, and hostile wildlife. There are a wide variety of objectives to complete on the map, including taking out AI-controlled camps, repairing broken down vehicles, or securing your data by uploading it at data links. Uplink over here. There are also a number of emergent events that guarantee no match plays the same. Oh, is incoming! Finally, if you happen to come across some rare salvage, survival may become your top priority. You can only bring back one salvage item per session, but if you do, you'll be rewarded with a wealth of unique materials that you can use to research new loadout recipes for your next matches. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Everything covered so far is about the game-to-game -game mechanics of scavengers. But once you successfully return to Mother with data and salvage, you'll begin unlocking new research recipes that grants access to weaponry, supplies, talents, and more. By researching, you'll be able to customize your loadout and talents. Powerful loadouts don't guarantee that you'll have those weapons in the beginning, but they do offer strategic options to spend your scrap on. Get me out there and let me do my thing. We'll bring home the win. Scavengers is developed by Midwinter Entertainment, an indie development studio with big aspirations. This is just the beginning of our journey to make Scavengers a great game. For you, with you. We hope you enjoy your time with us. Keep warm.